Okay, so we've been learning about blends. Do you remember what we found out is that blends are two letters that can go together to make a sound quickly. Like, for example, F and L can say full, but we can still separate out the F and the O sound from the full blend. Today we're going to think about a different letter. We're going to think about letter R. Let's just do a quick review of the blends we've done so far. BL says ol, CL, col, FL, full, GL, goal, PL, pull, SL, soul. Let's do them fast. Ol, col, full, goal, pull, soul. Nice work. Okay, what letter is this? Yeah, letter R. What sound does R say? Very good. Rrr. Okay, like in rain, rat rainbow. So we can take the letter R and we can blend it with other letters. For example, I'm going to put letter R next to letter B. What sound does B make? So when I put B and R together, we can go B, R, but that's not very fast. So instead we go R, like bright. Can you say R? Nice. Another letter that we can put with R is this letter. What letter is that? Letter C. And it says what sound? K. It can also make the S sound, but for what we're doing today, it's going to make the K sound. Okay, so if I put C next to R and they're blended, what sound do I have? Grr. Right, like in crib. Very good. Okay, the last letter I want you to think about right now is this letter. What letter is that? Letter P and P says P. Good. What happens when I put R next to P? Now it says Brr. Right, like price, print. Very good. What's this sound again? Brr. Right. So we're going to think about letter R and think about the sounds Kr and Brr and Her and do some word building and some sorting. Let's get started. We've been talking about having anchor words, words that hold us in place, like an anchor holds a ship or a boat in place. So for today, when we're thinking about the CR sound, we're gonna think of a crib. Can you say crib? Great. I'm gonna do the sounds that I hear in crib, and I'll do them slowly. K, R, I, B, crib. Your turn. K, R, I, B, crib. Well done. So when we hear the cr, we're going to think about crib. The next one I'm going to do is the word brim. Can you say brim? Very good. Let's do the sounds in brim. B, R, I, M, brim. Excellent. You do it again. Brim. So what I've done is drawn a picture of a hat. The brim is that outside part. And I brought a hat with me to show you. This is the brim. So if I'm out in the sun, I can kind of pull the brim down and keep the sun out of my eyes. So we're going to use the fur in the word brim. Brim is going to help us remember the fur sound. The last anchor word that we have for today is the word prop. Can you say prop? Great. A prop is something, you might hear that as a short word for propeller that's on a plane or a helicopter. But also, if you like to watch shows or go to the theater where people are acting, people use props. Well, in fact, this hat is kind of a prop right now because I put it on to help you learn what a brim is. So, Brim, brim, crib, crib, prop, prop. So we're going to use these and we're going to do some sorting together so that we can practice hearing the difference between those beginning blends and then looking at those patterns so that when you're reading and writing, you'll have those and they'll come fast for you. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. I'll say the word, okay? 
I'll say a word, like for instance, the word prim. When something is prim, it's just right and it's proper, prim. And then you will say the word with me. Let's say prim. Great. Then I will say each sound slowly. P, r, i, m, prim. Your turn. Because it says you will say each sound slowly. P, r, i, m, prim. Well done. Then I will ask, should it go under rim, crib, or prop? Let's try this one. Prim. Prim, brim, prim, crib, prim, prop. Now remember, I'm paying attention to the blend at the beginning. I want to find the word where prim goes, where it will look right at the beginning and sound right, like a purr. Ah, so you think prim should go under prop. Let's check. Does it look right? P-R, P-R. Now let's see if it sounds right. Prop, prim. Do they both say purr? Yes, they do. Okay, so that one is right. Great job, everybody. We're going to follow the same procedure. And at the end, we'll do this part. We'll check down the columns together. Let's do another word, shall we? The next word is brick. Say brick. Nice. Sometimes a house can be made out of brick. I'll do the sounds in brick slowly, and then you'll do them. B, r, i, k, brick. B, r, i, k, brick. Nice job. Brick, brim, brick, crib, brick, prop. Which word? Yes, brick, brim. Let's check it. Do they look right? Same word. How about do they sound right? Brim, brick. Do they both have the brr at the beginning? They do. Excellent. Okay, let's do the next word. The next word is crop. Can you say crop? Excellent. A crop that you might plant would be corn. Or you might crop something, like make it smaller, like a photo. Crop. K -r -op. Crop. Your turn. R up crop. Well done. Hmm. Crop brim. Crop crib. Crop prop. Where should crop go? Where it will look and sound the same at the beginning, like the blends we're working on. Okay. Crop crib. Crop crib. They look the same. Crib crop. They sound the same. So we're doing great checking to see if it looks right. And if it sounds right, thank you for this help. Okay, the next word is prom. Now, you're a little young to be going to a prom, but sometime when you're in high school, you might go to a fancy dance called a prom. Say prom. Great, here's the sounds in prom. P, r, a, m, prom. Your turn. P, r, a, m, prom. Great job. Prom, brim, prom, crib. Prom, prop. Which word? Mmm, very good. Prop, prom. They look the same at the beginning and they sound the same. Let's check prom. Prom with prop. They look the same at the beginning and prop, prom. They sound the same. Okay, that's okay there. You're doing wonderful helping me to check here if things look right and sound right. Okay, the next word I have is the word crab. Say crab. Nice. Let's do the sounds in crab. Are you picturing a um, sea creature or crab, right? Red, and it's got like these big claws that can snap. Crab. K -r -a -b, crab. Your turn. K -r -a -b, crab. Well done. Okay, so crab. Crab rim. Crab crib. Crab prop. Where's crab go? Yes, crab, crib. They both have the cr sound and the letters C-R. Very good. All right, let's do one more together. And then you know what? I'm actually going to have you check my work. The next word that we're going to do together is the word brag. Sometimes you might hear someone talking about something they did that they're happy about. And and sometimes it's okay to just be proud of yourself. 
but we don't really like if someone's going to brag about how great they are. Say the word brag. Nice. Here's the sounds. B, r, ag, brag. Your turn. B, r, ag, brag. Okay. Brag, brim, brag, crib, brag, prop. Where should it go? Yeah, brag and brim. Brim, brag. Well done. They ha it has the same sound and the same letters. Well, what I'm going to do, now that you've helped me so well with what we've done so far, is I am going to do a few more words and then you're going to help me check it. All right, everybody. So I've put the rest of the words up here and you're going to help me. We're going to check each column. So this is column one, column two, column three, and make sure that they look right and sound right. You'll give a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how I, I do. So here's the first column. Everything should sound like brr at the beginning and have a br. Here we go. Rim, rim, brick, rag, prep, rat. Do they look right? Oh wait, someone give me a thumbs down. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I think I found the word that's in the wrong spot. Did you find the one that's in the wrong spot? It doesn't look right, but it doesn't sound right. So let's read them and see if you can hear the one that sounds wrong. Brim, brick, brag, prep, brat. Yeah, did you find prep, prep, brim? Those do not look the same. I mean, B's and P's, sometimes we get confused, but those are not the same letters. And brr, prr, those are different sounds. Where should Prep go. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's just check it now. Rim, brick, brag, brat. They look okay now? Okay, do they sound okay? Brim, brick, brat. I mean, brag, brat. Okay, those look okay. Let, let's do this column, column two with the cr, and then we'll figure out where to put prep. Crib, crop, crab, cram. Do they look the same and have CR at the beginning? Okay, they do. Now let's think about do they sound the same? Crib, crop, crab, cram. They sound the same? Crib, crop, crab, cram. I think they do. Okay, great. All right, let's do this last column. Prop, prop, prim, prom. Do they look the same? Mm, I see P, R. All right, let's here and make sure they sound right. Prop, prim, prom. Yeah, I hear a prr at the beginning. Excellent. Okay, so they look the same and they sound the same. Let's do this one. Prep. Let's compare it. Prep, brim, prep, crib, prep, prop. Prep, brim, prep, crib, prep, prop. Yeah, yeah, prep, prop. Prop, prep. That's where that should have gone. So let's just double check it. Prop, prim, prom, prep. Looks okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sounds okay? Prop, prim, prom, prep. Okay. Oh, thank you. So we did some more blends today and we found out that there's R blends too. We've done L blends and now we've done R blends. And we know that Two letters can blend together, but we can still separate out their sounds. And we can use that, we know that, because when we're reading and we see a BR, we don't have to go B, R, we can just say BR. But when we're spelling and we're trying to write, if we hear a sound in a word that has an R blend, right? We want to stop ourselves and separate out that blend sound so that we make sure we get as many letters as we can when we're spelling words. So if I were trying to spell the word brag, I would want to say brag. If I started brr ag, I'd remind myself, wait a minute, brr is really two letters and two sounds. B, brr, brr, brag. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education the state of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.